Okay, unscripted again, here we go. Hi, it is Noriko again, and I am here to talk to you about my woes with Scott Adams' Grand Adventure Zero Adventureland Mini Sample. I thought that I might have a chance to put something together really quick that would run the sampler in a different system other than the TRS-80 Model 1 or the TRS-80 Coco. I thought it would be really nice and really fun to do that. But I spent a lot of time yesterday going around, looking at all my resources, checking all of my files, checking everything I have. I checked the Commodore 64, the Commodore 128, the VIC-20, the Apple II, the Apple IIe, Texas Instruments, TI-99, Timex Sinclair, the ZX Spectrum, the BBC Electron, all kinds of things that I have just sitting around ready to be worked on, and I cannot find it anywhere except for the TRS-80 Model 1. And then it hits me. It makes sense because Scott Adams originally wrote Adventureland for the Model 1. He did not write it for all the others first. He adapted it over to them, or perhaps one could say his company did. So his sampler disc, which was $6.95, I believe, was made in order to promote the game on the Model 1. See, the idea was if you were not sure if you were going to like the game, you could delay spending $14.95 on the cassette that had the full game, and instead you could spend $6.95 and get this sampler. And the difference is the main game has 10 treasures and the sampler has three treasures and a lot of area crippled. In fact, I think this is really the first example of crippleware, or at least the first example that I know of. So for this, I spent a little bit of time last night running around in-game, having a look at things and learning where stuff was and where stuff was not, what was removed and what was kept in, and I think I'm ready to just show you a real quick adventure using the Scott Adams Adventure Zero Adventure Land mini sampler. So let's check the the first thing we need to do. As usual, I've converted this over to a floppy drive so that we can work with it more quickly. We're going to run Advent. I named it Advent in honor of the original Advent game. We do not wish to restore a previously saved game. We're not going to read all of this. You are used to it by now, but I will point out that Ritting is still being misspelled. I am in a forest. Visible items, trees. Obvious exits are north, south, east, and west. A voice booms out. Welcome to Adventure International's mini adventure sampler. This is a small but complete adventure. You must find the three hidden treasures and store them away. Say score to see how well you're doing. Remember, you can always say help. First thing we're going to do is I'm going to take us up north into the forest and then we are going to go east. This is where the dragon is supposed to be, and as you see, there's in a sunny meadow, there's a large sleeping dragon. Sign here says, in many cases, mud is good in others. Obvious exits, south, east, and west. Notice there is no carpet under the dragon. We are going to go south from here into the dismal swamp, visible items, cypress tree, evil smelling mud, swamp, gas patches, oily slime, chiggers, north, east, west, bitten by chiggers. So let's get the mud. That heals us, and then let's drop the mud. And we want to climb the tree. In the top of a tall cypress tree, there's the spider web with white writing on it. A ring of skeleton keys. Let's read the web. The web still says chopper down. Let's get the keys. The keys are not really necessary, but since I want to show you what is here, we're going to need them. We are going to go down, and then we are going to go east. East puts us at the edge of a bottomless hole. There's a large outdoor advertisement and a hole here. Obvious exits in north and west. Let's read the advertisement. This mini-adventure is but a small sample of what awaits you in our classic Adventureland, which contains an additional ten treasures, magic carpets, killer bees, burning lava, and much more. Purchase a copy of Adventureland from your favorite retailer today. This is very different from what is in the Adventureland, which we will bring up on the screen here. Check with your favorite computer dealer for the next adventure program, Pirate Adventure. If they don't carry adventure, have them call 1-305-862-69-17 today. So we are going to continue now and go north. On the shore of a lake, there's the water, the fish, the rusty ack, magic work, bunion on it, no swimming allowed here, north, south, and west. Notice the fish is not a treasure anymore. I wasted a lot of time trying to figure out why can I not get the fish? Why can I not get the fish? Well, I cannot get the net either, so no net, no fish. So we are going to get the ax has the word bunion on it. We now go south, back to where the large advertisement is, go west, and chop 
the tree. Now we do not need the X in our hands for a while, so we'll drop the X. And then we want to go west in a hidden grove, jeweled fruit, sign says Paul's place. Let's get the fruit and then go east. And we are back where we chopped down the tree and we are going to go to the stump. Here we are in a hollow stump, water in a bottle. Sign says leave treasures here and then say score. We do not need the bottle. We cannot use the bottle in order to get the fish and later to get the killer bees because that whole area down below has been disabled. Let's drop the fruit and then go down and we will get the rubies. And then we are going to go up away from the dark hole and drop the rubies. That's two of the three treasures. And then we're gonna go down again. We're gonna go to the hole and unlock the door. Because we have the keys, there's an open door with a hallway beyond. Let's drop the key. So we do not need it anymore. We can go into the hallway. It's too dark to see. Let's work our way back up out of here to the root chamber where we drop the keys, go up to where the dark hole is, go up again to the stump and go up again one more time into the swamp where the rusty ax is still laying. We want to go east. We're going to go into the hole. This is where we find the flint and steel. So we will get the flint and then we will go back up and west back over to the hollow stump. Well, outside of the hollow stump, we will go into the stump. We are going to drop the flint because it does us no good. Then we will go back up, get the X, then go east back to where the advertisement was, north to the shore of a lake where the fish is. Go north again. We have a quicksand bog, visible item, small statue of a blue ox. Let's get the ox. The ox is a treasure. Now, if you notice, we are carrying rusty axe and small statue of a blue ox. Let's say bunion because it is the magic word. Now we are carrying nothing at all. To get out of here, we swim, we go south, back to the advertisement, we go west to the dismal swamp, we go west again, and this puts us in where Paul's place is. We do not need the ax, but we do need the ox. And then we go east again, we go into the stump, and we are going to drop the ox. And then score, because we have all three treasures. I stored three treasures on a scale of 0 to 100. That rates 100. Fantastic. You solved it all. The adventure is over. Do you want to try this adventure again? No. That was, just really quickly, inside of about 10 minutes, the entire sampler for Adventureland. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I enjoyed figuring it out, although I really wish I could have presented it to you on an Apple IIe. I've really taken a liking to that machine recently. Anyway, have a great day, have a great night, and I look forward to our next adventure together.